Especially with Christmas coming up. Yeah, well, it's still not too late, is it? Mind if I? Uh, yeah, well, shall we just have a little No, just anything different? No. Don't call it a walk of shame, I call it a stride of pride. Sorry. Bagged her, didn't I? Who? Don't know what you said to her, but... Uh, I'm walking home, and I hear this voice behind me. Stephen. Roxy Mitchell. Ravenous. Uh, Stephen, she didn't follow you home, she carried you. Works every time. I got indoors and she just came at me. In the hall, on the stairs, then the landing. Never made it to the bedroom. Lucky I know how to handle a woman. Sorry. Anyway, gotta go. Breakfast in bed. He's such an idiot. Oh my. I thought you'd been catching up on some sleep after what you got up to last night. Yeah, I'm a bit knackered. And so it's a wink. Maybe she'll leave you alone for a bit, eh? I doubt it. Sure about that? Eh? Look, if you want me to help you out, Stephen, then you've got to be honest with me. I don't know what you mean. When Roxy finds you, she's going to kill you. Look, I wouldn't lie to you, Stace. For the count. Oh, you were meant to be looking out for her. I mean, where were you? Oh, well, if it ain't the stud of Wolford, do you want to go upstairs now or do you prefer the landing? Stace? I'm oh, sorry. Teach him to tell porkies, wouldn't it? Why can't you just tell me the truth? meant to be your mate. just wanted to impress you. I can't hear you, Stephen. Impress you, all right? You and Bradley, you don't know how lucky you are. What? So I've never had a proper girlfriend. I don't know what it's like, because I'm 17 and I'm pathetic. 